a SpaceX Dragon, currently about 62 meters in closing on the International Space Station. Good morning and welcome to our live coverage of this SpaceX CRS-19, SpaceX's 19th resupply mission to the International Space Station. As you can see in this live view, the Dragon spacecraft closing in on the International Space Station. It's already just about 60 meters away and continuing to close in. It's been moving well ahead of its timeline with its 5,700 pounds of cargo packed aboard. And that'll be the next major spot. We're actually at that 30 meter hold point. So Dragon's gonna hold here. And again, they're gonna do some final checkouts. And then as once they confirm everything on Dragon's ready to go, the robotic arm and the station itself are ready to go. Dragon's gonna continue closing in. Its next point will be the capture point. So it will stop only about 10 meters away from the International Space Station, just about 30 feet. And then it'll be over to the crew members on board to actually reach out with that Canada arm too. Again, it's about a 57 foot long robotic arm. And Luca Parmertano of the Expedition 61 commander is gonna be at the controls to reach out and grapple Dragon out of the sky. and keep your eyes on the ground behind Dragon. The station already moving out over the center of the continent of Africa, about to make a pass over the Sahara Desert. So it should be getting some pretty dynamic colors in the background there. This Dragon actually moves uh, into a position of eclipse between the sun, uh, with the station in between it and the sun. Station Houston on two, Dragon has begun approach from 30 meters. Monitor per step five in 1.102. So live views of Dragon back now. You can see the orange hues starting to mount as the sun sets on station and Dragon. So they're about to pass into an orbital nighttime. And right now they're about 262 statute miles over planet Earth, about to swing out over northern Mongolia and northeastern China, and eventually swinging out over the Sea of Japan and right over Japan itself. 24 meters in closing. Again, Dragon's going to continue to approach until about 10 meters, and then it'll be at the capture point. It'll stop, and then it'll be time for the crew to reach out with that robotic arm and capture Dragon out of the sky. So things still going smoothly. We are still a little bit ahead of schedule. Again, we were originally targeting a capture time of about 4.30 a.m. Central Time this morning. We'll keep an ear out for what they tell the crew, but we are expecting to be about 20 to 30 minute, minutes ahead of that capture time. And we'll be sure to update you as Dragon continues to check off its various milestones approaching in. Scott, we copy. We have a go for a capture sequence. One decimal one one zero. Step four and work. And you can see the arm starting to be in motion, coming alive there. In Expedition sixty one, Commander Luca Parmitano, the Italian astronaut. 
Is it at the controls as the prime for today's capture operation? And now the Canada Arm 2 closing in on Dragon. And the arm just one meter away. Alignment good. And we see that initial contact. Trigger has been commanded, the snares retracting. So again, a set of snares retracting in to get a good capture on Dragon. And right now we're just standing by for confirmation of capture. And we just heard the call here in Mission Control Houston. The snares have retracted and capture is complete. So that call coming at 4.05 a.m. Central Time, 5.05 a.m. Eastern. Capture complete. Go for post-capture reconfiguration. And I would like to congratulate all of the people in Houston and around the world who contributed to the launch, navigation, and capture of Dragon. They must know that whenever we welcome a new vehicle on board, we take on board also a little bit of the solo of everybody that contributed to the project. So, welcome on board. Copy that, Luca. Great capture, guys. Nice job.